Hello everyone, this is Harjeet Shergal from AH Brands. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, National Retail Solutions, a uh, POS system for convenience store or uh, liquor store. Like already you guys know that uh, today is December 31st. Uh, as of the uh, uh, January 1st, 2024, in California, S Bill SB one zero one three is passed. Like everybody know already, like you are seeing on my screen. So you must charge the CRV on the liquor bottle and wine bottle. So I'm going to teach you today uh, how you can add CRV on wine department and liquor department. So first, a uh, lot of people do not know that I will be teaching you. Uh, how much CRV you need to charge. Then I will show you on computer how you can make change it on your POS system. Uh, like you are seeing on the screen, they showing on the uh, uh, California uh, 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 callrecycle.ca.gov uh, website. You can log in to yourself too to look at. So if, if it's showing you everything, which item you need to charge the CRV. It's, 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 it's very easy. Uh, uh, you can read the full article on the government website. So it, it, this is a full explain. I'm just gonna tell you a little bit. Uh, all the bottle, uh, 50 ml, 200 ml, 375, need to charge 5 cent CRV. All the bottle, 750 or higher, 10 cent CRV. If you have bag in box wine, uh, like frangia blush or another this one have to have 25 cent crv on it so you can all the time remember uh, how much crv you uh, you need to go into charge you can log into uh, that website uh, callrecycle.ca.gov so you can log into and on on home page it will explain you everything this is a very easy so uh, my topic is how you want to add the CRV to your NRS PO system. It's very easy. If you have a computer, uh, do from the computer, like I'm going to show you. Uh, this is the website for the, uh, for the NRS PO system. Uh, mystore.nrsplus.com, like right now you are seeing on the screen. So if you need a login code, just log into your POS system, uh, uh, tap on the tools, then store setup, go all the way on the top, you will see the small tab. Find the portal account, P-O-R-T-A-L, portal account, and put your email address and click on register. After that, you will receive the uh, uh, email to change the password. Your email is your username and password, whatever you want to keep it. I already logged in. In case you guys need to know, I can start from all the way end. So, so this is the, it will open like this. You put your username and password like I have it here. This is very easy. After that, once logged in, you, uh, on your computer, you click on the price book. After you clicking on the price book, Click on the departments like I'm clicking right now. Uh, after that, you click on the beer, beer or wine, wherever you want to start from first. I am uh, I'm gonna click from the uh, from the from the wine. Okay. After you click on the wine, you will see the tab like you seeing on the screen. Wherever you have the CRB, because already, uh, we are already charging the CRB on the beer and soda, so you no need to create the new one. Same CRB, like I have right now, CRB, CRB non-tax. Uh, I already had a green because I was working before. Before I make the video, I want to make a text or test. I, wanna, I don't want to make it wrong. Just click on the green. That's it. Very easy. You also can do the same thing from your uh, pure system. But the problem is, once you do click on the yes, your POS will start charging 5 cents CRB on all the wine department. So, but some item we need to charge 5 cents, some item we need to charge the uh, 10 cents. 
for that i'm going to show you how you can download the whole wine department to your excel report make a change and upload back again that's very easy that's i'm going to do it so you don't have to go bring the all the item or scan the all the item you have to go to the each each aisle to do it it will be too much work so it's easy so i click on the okay now wine department had default crv five cent after that you click on the back to price book once you click on the price back to price book uh you will see the search button like i have right here search book just type wine so after this you will see the all the wine items here so see department wine 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 after that very easy click on the download button which is right here after you click on the download like this you see it is that is is asking me the system where you where i want to save the file so i'm gonna go to uh, save the my file on the desktop and i'm gonna click on the save but remember the file name uh you need in the later on so my price book name is a one nine two seven three slash zero one so i will save okay uh, because i saved and also remember the location where you are saving i always save my this kind of file on desktop it's easy to find so whatever i will do uh, i already have the so i'm gonna go uh, minimize everything um, now i'm gonna look try to find my file okay my file is right here price book so i'm gonna open my file uh, price book so after that you will see the all the uh, a b c d all the column and tabs so once you keep following here following here you will see the fee multiplied it's a k remember column k okay so you need to change it okay if like right now i have already here because i did it before okay uh murphy grays rose wine four pack i put four it will be four multiply five will be 20 cents crb so if you are going to charge five cent leave one it will be default one if you need to charge 20 cent just change to the four if you want to charge 10 cent and change to the number two five multiply two it will be 10 cent you can make a change it here you can see it is here is the name is a description so you can read it from the, the description which uh, which bottle you need to charge five cent ten cent see i did already so right here you can see it i'm going to highlight uh, it's a l mad uh, l madden five liter cab sab it's a buying in box so i put five here because they want us to if we have a, like a bag in box 25 cent crb i put five here after you make a change all the way down do not make change anything on an other column only k column after that you click on the save or control s it's the same thing so after that uh, you can you can close it or minimize it the excel so you must have the excel too remember i forgot to tell you so you go back to again uh, your uh, my store like i have right now so before you did the download now you do the upload click on the upload you see select or or drop the price book from the spreadsheet the one we just made a change and click on save you will you go you go to the desktop and find the same thing i remember i to, i told I, you before you need to remember the file name so i knew my file name so i so right now i have here it's tied computer is telling me i have 477 item so i i, I will make a changes you know only you need to do click on the upload see it's uploading right now just wait it's depend on your how many items you have it wait for the few uh, minute or two you will see it will change see right now i got the message price book has been updated successfully now let's look if it's, it's done or no go back go back price book 
so i'm gonna find a few items and see if there is a crb there so i'm gonna click on the fell chardonnay or 2017 i have nine bottle left so i'm gonna see if a crb there i can double click here see here this is my item description it says fee multiplied two because it's 750 bottle so it's automatically changed it's very easy this is the way you can start tonight uh, after the 31st on wine like I'm doing here. I'm going to go back change again because it's affecting tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. So it's very easy. You can download your wine. I did only wine. Uh, you can download your wine data and liquor data to the Excel and upload back again. You don't need to bring all the bottle to the counter or you don't need to scan every item to change it. It is very easy. If you guys still need help, you can uh, call us 209-297-3200 or log into our website. Uh, I will also post this uh, my YouTube video on website too. So you can find it easy. Uh, our website is uh, ahwholesale.com. So once you click on AH Wholesale, uh, like you are seeing on, on, the, on the screen. So you see the PO system, click on the learn more. I will put that video over here. So you know, I have, it will be easy to find instead of going to the YouTube. So just click on here, you will see the, my video here. So if you want to contact us, me or Amarpal or Thirat, or just go down, all the way go down on the footer, um, you will find the contact us or we will uh, contact you. Uh, here, sorry, not in not in the below, you will see our uh, uh, contact list here. So just find our phone number, our phone number, WhatsApp, WeChat, everything is listed, email is listed. If you need it, just call us, we will help you. Even you do, do not buy the POS from us, we will still help you uh, to do business in the future. So if you like my video, please share it to the other people. Uh, it's very easy. So once again, if you need help, feel free to call us 209-297-3200 if you like my video once again uh, uh share to everybody and once again from our all the ah brands team uh myself harjeet shergal amar palcha to teeth Singh. happy new year to everyone thank you very much